Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna learn how to upload image files to the FTP server and then insert the image records into the MySQL database remotely. And these are the images that we're gonna be working with. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So first go ahead and create a config.php file and this is where we're gonna provide our FTP host settings as well as the MySQL database settings. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter FTP host, which is my SiteGround account. FTP user, and this is the user that I've created specifically for this video. And password, I'm just gonna copy and paste the password here. Next, enter the remote host settings. So you want to log into your control panel, to your host control panel, and you want to make sure that your host allows remote MySQL connections. So you can see that um, inside of the C panel, you want to click on remote database access hosts and there should be an IP which um, that, that you're going to be using to connect to the um, MySQL remotely. You also want to um, add your IP address to the allowed hosts so that it gives you the permission to connect to the MySQL server remotely. Alright, so after you've done that, go ahead and enter your host. And, um, and make sure you create a database. Under MySQL databases, I've already created mine. You can go ahead and um, name the database words or whatever name you want. And make sure to also add the user to the database. I've added the CleverT9 master as the user for this database. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter CleverT9 Clever. Actually, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, this is the user that I'm gonna be using. It's Clever. Remote pass. I'm just going to copy and paste here. And the database name. Alright, so now that we have our FTP and MySQL settings, we can go ahead and connect to MySQL and FTP. First, let's go ahead and include functions library and the config file that we just created. So we're going to be using functions, functions, and we're going to be using a function called upload files, which is going to take care of the uploading of the files for us. And this is the all the code that we've created in the pr previous video, so you can rewatch that video if you don't understand what's going on here. But basically, it's taking care of the um, copying and uploading the files from the local directory to the server directory and then it's returning the array of the files that have been uploaded. All right, so let's go ahead and connect to MySQL. This is a remote connection, so I've named the variable MySQL I remote. And then we're just gonna provide all the variables that we created in a config file. Next, let's also go ahead and connect to the FTP host. And here we're using a function called FTP connect. 
and then we're just gonna provide the the uh, host name and if it couldn't connect we're gonna display a message couldn't connect to FTP host then we're gonna log in using FTP login function provide the credentials FTP user FTP password or if it can't log in also gonna display an error message couldn't log in to FTP server now I'm also gonna set the FTP mode to passive because otherwise the file uploading just doesn't work so I'm just gonna do that here and now let's go ahead and test to see that everything works so we're not getting any error messages so that means everything worked and we're now connected to the FTP and MySQL all right next I'm gonna provide the directories that we're gonna be moving the files from so first is a local directory which is this directory here so I'm just gonna copy and paste this all right then provide the remote server directory so my directory here is under root words and the reason this is so short is because I've created a, a user specifically for this video and your directory may be different so make sure to connect to the FTP and um, look up the actual directory where you're gonna be uploading these word images to okay lastly let's provide the remote HTTP directory so that we can access the actual image files from the browser or from HTML code And that's it. That's all we need for all the connections and directories. So we now have everything we need to upload the files. So let's go ahead and upload the files using the upload files function from our functions.php library. And here all we need to provide is FTP connection, local directory where we're going to be uploading from, and the server directory. and the upload files should upload all the files to the server so if everything works we should have a list of files show up here in the FTP directory so let's go ahead and run this gonna go ahead and refresh the directory here and um, now we have our files uploaded to the server so this part works and the next part is to and we also get successfully uploaded messages and some messages that the images already exist because I haven't deleted them alright so anyway the uploading part works now the second part that we're gonna do is insert the images or insert the image data into the uh, remote MySQL database and for that we're gonna go ahead and create the loop To insert the images to the remote MySQL database, I'm just going to create a simple for loop. Going to loop through the size of the files array. Now we're going to use the image name, which is files i, and we're going to remove the extension with remove ext function, which is also located inside the functions library all it does is removes the extension so that's going to be word is going to be the name of our image without the extension also we're going to create the http path which is remote http directory that we created here so it's this string here and files i which is the name of the file with the extension so this is our full directory to the image so that we can access it via the HTTP protocol 
Next, we'll create the query to insert the images into the database. And our database is named words. Word and image. All right, before we can insert the records into our table, we're gonna go ahead and create the table. So go, go ahead and um, open up the PHP my admin. And um, I'm just gonna have three fields. First one is gonna be ID, and it's gonna be auto increment, primary, not null, Second field is going to be word, and let's set it to text because so image names can be really big in our case. And second field is image, which is going to be the image HTTP path, and we're going to also set it to text. And all of them are not going to be null. Okay, save the table. All right, I actually made a small mistake here. It should be just words without the IMG. That is the proper HTTP directory. All right, now let's go ahead and run the script. And if everything goes well, we should have our records show up here under browse inside of the words table in the MySQL database. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. And now we have 56 total records and you can see all the image names along with the image URL showing up here. So all the records have been inserted successfully and we also have our images here in the FTP server. And that's it for this video. We've learned how to upload the images via FTP and insert the records into the remote MySQL database. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.